Hello, my name is Kristen Devine Jones. Welcome back to Sunset Salutations. I feel so happy to be in this moment with you, knowing that there's nothing else on my plate, that this is the one item that's going to get any of my focus for the next half hour. Ah, <sighs> what a relief, right? <laughs> We're going to begin today with an opening from 10% Happier by Dan Harris. Pretty quickly, my efforts began to bear fruit off the cushion, to use a Buddhist term. I started to be able to use the breath to jolt myself back to the present moment in airport security lines, waiting for elevators, you name it. I found it to be surprisingly satisfying. And I was much better at forgiving myself out in the real world than while actually meditating. Every moment was an opportunity for a do-over. A million mulligans. Meditation was radically altering my relationship to boredom, something I'd spent my whole life scrambling to avoid. The only advice I'd ever gotten from my college advisor was to never go anywhere without something to read. I diligently heeded the advice, taking elaborate precautions to make sure every spare moment was filled with distractions. I scanned my Blackberry at stoplights, brought reams of work research to read in the doctor's waiting room, and watched videos on my iPhone while riding in taxi cabs. Now I started to see life's in-between moments sitting at a red light, waiting for my crew to get set up for an interview as a chance to focus on my breath or just take in my surroundings. On Sunday nights, in the seconds right before the start of world news, I would take a few deep breaths and look around the room, out at the milling stage crew, up at the ceiling rigged with lights, grounding myself in reality before launching into the unreality of the bellowing camera with unseen millions behind it went by a hopelessly anodyne name, mindfulness. In a nutshell, mindfulness is the ability to recognize what is happening in your mind right now. Anger, jealousy, sadness, the pain of a stubbed toe, whatever, without getting carried away by it. According to the Buddha, we have three habitual responses to everything we experience. We want it, we reject it, or we zone out. Cookies, I want. Mosquitoes, I reject. The safety instructions the flight attendants read aloud on an airplane, I zone out. Mindfulness is a fourth option, a way to view the contents of our mind with non-judgmental remove. I found this theory elegant, but utterly unfeasible. On the cushion, the best opportunities to learn mindfulness are when you experience itches or pain. Instead of scratching or shifting position, you're supposed to just sit there and impartially witness the discomfort. The instruction is simply to employ what the teachers call noting, applying a soft mental label, itching, itching, or throbbing, throbbing. For me, this was infernally difficult. A dagger-like tingle would appear under my thigh, a little pinprick, portal to Hades, and I would grip my teeth and question the choices I was making in life. I couldn't suspend judgment. I hated it. The idea is that once you've mastered things like itches, eventually you'll be able to apply mindfulness to thoughts and emotions. The non-gentle, excuse me, this not judgmental noting Oh, that's a blast of self-pity. Oh, that's me ruminating about work. It's supposed to sap much of the power, the emotional charge, out of the contents of consciousness. Once I started thinking about how this whole system of seemingly spontaneous psychological combustion worked, I realized how blindly impelled, impaled even, I was by my ego. I spent so much time, as one Buddhist writer put it, drifting unaware of, on a surge of habitual impulses. 
This is what led me on the misadventures of war and panic. It's what propelled me to eat when I wasn't hungry or get snippy with Bianca because I was stewing about something that happened in the office. Mindfulness represented an alternative to living reactively. This was not some mental parlor trick. Mindfulness is an inborn trait of birthright. It is one, could argue, what makes us human. We are classified as homo sapiens sapiens, the man who thinks and knows he thinks. We can do more than just think. We also have the power simply to be aware of things without judgment, without the ego. Picture the mind like a waterfall, they said. The water is the torrent of thoughts and emotions. Mindfulness is the space behind the waterfall. Again, elegant theory, but easier said than done. What I love about Dan's journey and his telling of it is that it's so full of anxiety. <laughs> We've all been there. We all know what it's like to be worried and judging and to find ourselves somewhat in a cycle that's churning without our power. And to know that there's a way to get yourself out of that the same way that we go to the gym and we pick up the weight and our bicep gets stronger. This impulse of responsiveness instead of reactiveness can totally change your life. Not in some dogmatic, you're going to have immediate abundance kind of way, but can you imagine a time when someone or something to something remarkably agitating to you, you can note it and not react and then continue about your day without it nagging at you all day long. Doesn't that sound like a glorious kind of freedom? Let's keep meditating and maybe we'll get there. Excellent. I'm gonna move my cushion. And I'm going to find myself on all fours, making sure that I'm starting from a straight spine. I'm going to shake my head no. Shake my head yes. Good. Now I'm going to face all the way front. Ah! Stretching out my tongue. A lot of tension lives there. And just working all the way around. Making a figure eight the bun on the top of my head. Good. And we're going to begin using the spine here, breathing in, arching all the way up, looking towards the belly button. And exhale, looking up, finding the belly button. Good. From here, crossing your right foot over. Excellent. And putting your right elbow down. You're going to sit all the way back. Good. And just look towards the ceiling. Deep breath in. Good. Coming forward. Switching. Left foot crossing over. I feel that right underneath my arm. Good. Try to lengthen into the stretch. Awesome. And from here, finding your hands at the top of your mat and sitting back. Good. Pulling your shoulders down your spine even more. Even more. Good. Finding a long spine. A relaxed neck, quieting your natural rhythm here, letting go of the past and the future, and trying to find yourself in tune only with your experience 
of this moment. Coming all the way up. I'm on tented hands here. Good. My arms are about eye level, so they're extended past my shoulder. Excellent. You're gonna curl all the way up. And shifting forward with the hips. Excellent, bringing them all the way around and back. And all the way forward. Good. Coming all the way back. And finding the elbows on the mat. Bringing your hands into prayer. Finding the hands behind, behind the head. Good. And trying to walk the fingers lower and lower down your back. Deep breath in. And exhale. Breathing fully. Unfolding. Keeping the arch in the back. Sending the chin all the way forward. And rounding. Chin all the way forward. And rounding. Good. We're going to move to the right side here. I'm still up off my hips. Good. And walking back towards the center. And moving all the way to the right. Or left, sorry. Left. Deep breath in. Exhale, really breathe into that side body. And let's take a seat, find your cushion, and we will begin our meditation. <sighs> let's talk briefly here about noting. So there's nothing labor intensive about the act of noting. A car just went by, so I wouldn't think a car just went by. I would think car or sound. If I'm noticing tension between my shoulders, I would say tension or shoulders. And that's all. And you're going to find yourself refocused on your breath. Take a moment now before we begin to meditate. Find your heart center. Find your low belly. And just notice how do the hands move? How is breath moving in your body? Good. And when you're ready, allow your eyes to close. Take one breath in, one breath out with your hands. Still feeling the rhythm of your body and your breath. When you're ready, Release to a lifted palm mudra. Face your palms towards the ceiling. In the spirit of receiving, find your focus fully on the breath. Allowing breath, not forcing it. Noticing each inhalation, the way it feels, and each exhalation. If you find it helpful to utilize a mantra, breathe in 
life, breathe out, ease, breathe in, life, breathe out, ease. which in it when the mind wanders which it inevitably will note it let it go and return to experiencing the breath Allow yourself to return to the mantra whenever you find your mind wandering. Feel curious about the passage of each breath and let go of any judgment or resistance to the process.
Allow the mind to wander now. Release any focus on the breath. When you're ready, find yourself fully back in the room. Notice the back of your hand upon your knee. Tune in to the physical sensations of your body. Listen to sounds. Maybe wiggle your fingers and toes. Clench and relax, clench and relax. And when you're ready, allow the eyes to open. Excellent. I want to lead you in a quick rest and renewal closing today. Find yourself on your side your head against your cushion. Find yourself fully comfortable here and allow your eyes to close. Breathe in deeply. Know that I'm minding the time on each inhalation. Feel the lightness of your own body. On each exhalation, allow it to sink far into the ground. Deep past the floor, into the earth. Breathe in and find lightness and ease and length. Exhale. Enjoy that sinking feeling. The grounded feeling. Start at your feet here. And just imagine you can switch them off. Deep breath in. Move to the ankles. And just imagine you can switch them off. Find your shin. Deep breath in. And switch them off. Your knees. Switching off. Your thighs, off they go. Your hips, switching off. Your 
your lower belly switching off your lower back switching off your ribs sternum and mid belly switching off the middle of your back switching off the upper back just switch it off by your chest and your clavicle switch it off your shoulders switch them off your upper arm switch it off your elbows switch them off your forearms switch it off the wrist switch it off the hands switch them off your neck switch it off your chin switch it off your lips switch them off your cheeks switch them off your nose switch it off your eyes and eyelids switch them off your eyebrows switching off your forehead switch it off your ears switch them off the scalp switch it off and the whole body Switch it off. Welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed your rest and renewal. Know that that is available to you anytime your physical body needs it. This has been Sunset Salutations and I'm Kristen Divine Jones.